All right, moving on to our next example, we're going to still continue to graph systems of equations um, to find the solution. And we just need to make sure we know what it looks like when you have infinitely many solutions or possibly a no solution. So our first example, solve the systems of equations by graphing. This first line, the 15x plus 5y equals 25, that's going to be easier for us to graph if we can just solve that for y. So I'm just going to rewrite it over here. Let's take the two steps to solve for y. We always start by getting the x term to the other side with addition or subtraction. So we subtracted 15x. Gives us 5y equals, we want to write that 15x, well, it's negative now on the other side, right after the equal sign, and then plus 25. Now we divide everything by 5. So we have y equals negative 3x plus 5. We can graph that. The y-intercept is 5, so we can go up 5 on the y-axis. The slope is negative 3, so down 3 to the right 1, down 3 to the right 1. We can draw in our line as carefully as we can. Okay, so there's our first line. The second line, if this one looks just a little bit weird, that's because we have our y equals, but these are out of order. So I'm going to rewrite that so that we have y equals, the x should come after the equal sign, so negative 3x, and then that 5 is positive, so I'm going to say plus 5. Okay. So let's take a look at our two equations. We might notice a couple of things. Both equations have a slope of negative three. So they have the same slope. They also have a y-intercept of positive five. So they have the same y-intercept. So that means something. That means when we go to graph our second line, we'll go up to the five, we'll do a slope of down three to the right one, and what we notice is we're drawing the second line right on top of the first line. They have the same slope. They have the, y, the same y-intercept. These two lines are in the same spot. They are going to share every single point. When that happens, every single point on this line is a solution to both equations. Any point we could pick out, like let's say this point right here, one, two, that ordered pair one, two, I could plug that into this line, it would work out. I could plug it into this line, it would work out. I could pick a different point, zero, five. It would work in this equation and it would work in this equation. Every single point is a solution. So how do we summarize that? Every single point's a solution so what we say is that this system has infinitely many solutions. So basically, if you notice that your two lines have the same slope and they have the same y-intercept, we can predict they will be graphed in the exact same spot, which will lead us to our infinitely many solutions answer. Okay, well, what else might happen when we graph a system of equations? Let's take a look at our first equation on our next example. Um, it's not solved for y, so let's go ahead and get that y alone. The x is on the wrong side of the equal sign. That's always your first solving step when you're trying to get it into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides. It's not a like term with this 6, so I'm just going to write them side by side y equals, but I do want the x term first, so 2x and then the plus 6 after. I can go ahead and graph that. We go up 6 on the y-axis for our y-intercept. The slope is positive 2, so that's a 2 over 1. I can go up 2 over 1. That takes me off the graph, so I can backtrack and go down 2 to the left one. I can just get the left side of our graph, draw that in. All right, our second equation is definitely not solved for y, so let's just do the, in this case, it will take two steps to get the y alone. Um, check to see where your x is. That's always your first move. If your x is on the left side of your equal sign, we're going to get it to the right side of the equal sign. We do that with addition or subtraction. The 4x and the 8 right here, 
are not like terms, so we're going to write the 4x first plus 8. Next, I want to make sure that I'm keeping all the same signs. It was a positive 4x and a positive 8. Last step, let's divide everything by 2 to get that 2 away from the y. We have y equals 2x plus 4. So let's just take note of a couple things. Our first equation was y equals 2x plus 6. Our second equation is y equals 2x plus 4. Well, these two lines have the same slope of positive 2, but this time they have different y-intercepts. If the y-intercepts are different, they're not going to be in the exact same spot. So let's graph our second line and kind of see what happens. You might remember what lines with the same slope look like. Um, we definitely have worked with these lines before. So we're going to go up 4, plot your point, slope of 2, up 2 to the right 1. Then I can backtrack and get the other points. Draw on the line. Again, if you have a straight edge, this would be more clear. Those aren't the prettiest of lines I'm drawing. Sorry about that. So lines that have the same slope are going to be parallel. These lines have the same slope, they have different y-intercepts, so they are two separate lines, they're not in the same spot. So where do these lines cross? Remember, the point of intersection is our solution to the system. Well, they don't have any points of intersection. So if you end up with a system where both equations um, never cross, there is no solution to the system, and that is the answer we would write down.